Hello uh, guys, students, we are here on the, uh, uh, our uh, exam samples, this is uh, the mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, have you noticed that uh, I'm uh, wearing uh, no jackets with the uh, hood, uh, it's very cold, cold here, so I just wear it. No. Anyway, uh, we are here in chapter number one, uh, elements of the quality system. Question number one, which of the following metrics apply to the learning and growth perspective of a balanced scorecard for a public university? Uh, letter A, revenue from tuition, B, number of new students, C hours spent on faculty and staff training. The average time required to admit students. The answer is C. Hours spent on faculty and staff training. And this is a metric appropriate to the learning and growth perspective of the balance scorecard. Question number two: Which of the following is not a needed element of an effective quality management system? A. A management representative B. A quality manager C. Organizational processes D. Records The answer is B. A quality manager Quality manager The explanation is uh, there is no prescription for a specific job title And then question number 3 In a process-based ISO 9000 quality management system Input requirements and feedback are provided by the A. Quality Manager B. Customers C. ISO Registrar D. Suppliers uh, The answer is B. Customers B. Customers Customers provided both the requirements and feedback on the product And then we have uh, in chapter 2 documentation of the quality system question number one of the following quality documentation systems which offers the best documentation control e email procedure updates to its employee b co copy procedure updates and deliver to its employee c Utilize code electronic database accessible by all employees containing the most current and approved procedures. D. Keep a procedure manual lock in the quality office and allow escorted uh, reviews only. The answer is C. Utilize one electronic database accessible by all employees containing the most current and approved procedures. Utilize one electronic database accessible by all employees containing the most current and approved procedures. The explanation is this methodology offers the most control and allow timely and aided access by all employees. Question number two. Uh, order the following list in terms of the amount, detailed instruction it contains starting with most uh, vague first. Mm -hmm. There are one procedures, two policies, third work instructions, four mission statement. The mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uh, what is it? What is really the most uh, so the 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 order is uh, four mission statement, and then two policies, and then one uh, one procedures, and the last is work instruction. The explanation of this is the mission statement explains why an organization exists and is typically followed by generalized policies. Next are more detailed procedures that are followed with specific and detailed work instruction. Right. And uh, question number three. Uh, the quality manager at XYZ company updated the approved vendors list EVL on the company's intranet. The previous version of the EVL is placed into archive. Archiving the old EVL is an example of 
E, corrective action. B, records retention. C, document control. D, non-conforming product. The answer is B, records retention. Records retention. Archiving of obsolete documents is an example of records retention. For more, for more on the control of records, see 4.2.4 of the ISO 9001-2000 standard. Mm -hmm. And chapter number three, quality standards and other guidelines. Question number one. Your organization operates in a market that requires certification by a third party. Which of the following options offers a valid certification solution? E. Apply, A. Apply for the Malcolm Barger's National Quality Award. Mm -hmm. M. B. In QA. B. Seek ISO 9000 registration. C. Implement uh, SPC. Mm. D. Utilize ISO 10012. The answer is B. Seek ISO 9000 registration. And this is a certification program. Okay. Question number two. Which of the following is a characteristic of ISO 9000? E. It is relatively inexpensive to implement and become certified. B. It is designed to control organizational processes. C. It has a process-oriented approach. D. It requires third-party auditors to complete all internal audits. And the explanation is ISO 9000 has adapted a process approach to its management system. Number, uh, question number three. Which of the following statements does not describe the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award or MBMQA program? E. It is a program designed to help improve organizational performance practices, capabilities, and results. B. It is a program designed to facilitate communication and sharing of best practices and information among U.S. organizations of all types. And C. It is a program designed to serve a working tool for understanding and managing performance and for guiding organizational planning and opportunities for learning. D. It is a prescriptive program that defines and describes specific policies and procedures needed in performance excellence organizations. The answer is letter D. It is a prescriptive program that defines and describes specific policies and procedures needed in performance excellence uh, organizations. And the criteria is non-prescriptive. <clears throat> Question number four, ISO 9000 is a standard document for a quality management system based on which of the following approaches to continual improvement. A. Quality Function Deployment or QFD. B. EBC. C. PDCA or Plan Dog Check Act. And B. Is, is IPOC. The answer is C. The PDCA or Plan Do Check Act or mm -hmm, PDCA. While the PDCA cycle does not show the processes in detail, it does show all the requirements of this ISO standard. Number five, question number five, ISO 9001 2000 specifies the A requirements for a quality management system. B. Specifications for a quality management system. D. Definition of a quality management system. D. Evaluation of quality management system. The answer is A. Requirements for a quality management system. The standard does specify the requirements for a quality management system. See paragraph 1.1 for standard for more detail. Yeah, 9001 is rare requirements. Now it is updated to ISO 9001 2008 QMS requirements. Question number six. According to the ISO 9001 2000 standard quality plan, A establishes 
processes and resources for application to a specific project. B. Translates customer requirements into technical requirements for its stage of product develop, development and production. C. Both A and B. B. Neither A nor B. The answer is A. Establishes processes and resources for application to a specific project. The explanation is a quality plan identifies processes and resources for application to a specific product, project, or contract. Question number seven. The register proposes a consultant, Mr. I. M. Jones, as lead auditor for an on-site assessment of XYZ Corporation's quality management system. Unknown to the register is the fact that Mr. Jones was previously employed as quality manager by the XYZ Corporation and he wrote their quality manual. In this situation, Mr. Jones should A. Disclose the prior relationship to the registrar B. Perform the audit C. Inform the XYZ Corporation at the opening meeting and D. Inform the XYZ Corporation upon initial contact The answer is A. Disclose the prior relationship to the registrar Disclose the prior relationship to the registrar